truly, I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Teleferro. Please make sure you're following your boy. It's on Instagram as Mr. Teleferro. Come on, y'all gotta say it with me. Y'all know is always at is Mr. Tell Love Ferro. So on a platform yesterday, we talked about Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon did an interview on his podcast. And it went left, and he made some very, very insensitive comments about the Jewish community. Look, anytime you draw that line of playing that game with Hitler or anybody that supports uh, Hitler's ideology, including the minister, Louis Farrakhan, who has made some very questionable remarks in regards to his allegiance and and maybe even siding with Hitler, you're going to receive backlash. It's anti-Semitic, and Nick Cannon has since apologized, right? Well, Viacom CBS has still uh, opted to fire Nick Cannon, and what that exactly means is anything regarding Wild and Out, Nick Cannon won't be able to shoot anymore. He's going to have to find a different network to fund uh, the, the, the Wild and Out series, meaning that thing's been on MTV since it started. Well, Nick Cannon will have to find another network. Maybe it's Revolt TV with Diddy. Maybe it's somewhere else. I don't know where he's going to go. It won't be under Viacom. And we found out Nick Cannon doesn't own Wild and Out, which is something that was shocking to me, as great a businessman he is. So that means not only will Nick not be able to shoot uh, Wild and Out going forward on, on Viacom channels, including BET, MTV, and VH1, and, and have him air on their networks, they're, the old episodes, if, if Viacom wants to do this, they still own them. So they can do whatever they want. Well, they can put them on streaming platforms, they can still show them, but again, Nick doesn't own the new content going forward. So it's a very bad situation. I mean, there's a chance a lot of people lose their jobs. You know, I guess technically if Viacom wanted to, they could continue to run the show without Nick Cannon, which would be weird, right? So Nick's kind of put himself in in quite a hole here. I'm going to ride with my my boy, though, because I think Nick does a great job at empowering black people. He made a mistake. He's apologized for it time and time again, including going on social media yesterday and double down on his apologies. Here's some of the things that Nick Cannon said. First and foremost, I extend my deepest and most sincere apologies to my Jewish sisters and brothers for the hurtful and divisive words that came out of my mouth during my interview with Richard Griffin. They reinforced the worst stereotypes of a proud and magnificent people. And I feel ashamed of the um, uninformed and naive place that these words came from. The video of this interview has since been removed. While the Jewish experience encompasses more than 5,000 years, And there is so much more I have yet to learn. I have had at least a minor history lesson over the past few days. And to say that is eye-opening would be a vast understatement. I want to express my gratitude to the rabbis, community leaders, and institutions who reached out to help enlighten me instead of chastising me. I want to assure my Jewish friends, new and old, that this is the beginning of my education. I am committed to deeper connections, more profound learning, and strengthening the bond between our two cultures today and every day going forward. Nick Cannon also announced via his Twitter account that he will be taking a break from his morning radio show. Uh, For those who don't know, Nick Cannon does do, do radio over there in the West Coast at Power 106. He said, I've decided to take some time away from my radio show so I can commit myself to deeper, more thought, Uh, thorough reflection and education. I will use this time to establish an action plan towards real impactful change and advocacy aimed at bringing people together. Later on yesterday evening though, Nick Cannon got back on his social media. And anytime you get back on that social media at night, it's probably a mistake. Uh, Nick said, I hurt an entire community and pain me to my core. I thought it couldn't get any worse. Then I watched my own community turn on me and call me a sellout for apologizing. Good night. Enjoy Earth. I haven't seen that many people against Nick. I'm guessing there are people out there that didn't agree with him apologizing to the Jewish community for comments that they deemed hurtful. Uh, One person that is having a field day with this is Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Y'all know no matter what, 50 Cent is going to give jokes to somebody that doesn't care for him and somebody that he doesn't care for. So 50 Cent posted a possible replacement for Wild and Out. And it is none other than Michael Blackson. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now this shit is hilarious. He said, tune in to the new show uh, called Wild and Out starring Michael Blackson. It's kind of like uh, a show that got canceled, LOL. Yo, he wrong for this, bro. He is wrong. He is wrong. It's called Out Wild. That's the name of the show. It's called Out Wild. So we didn't flip Wild and Out to Out Wild. Again, obviously 50 Cent having uh, fun at the expense of Nick Cannon as it, you know, earlier this year, Nick Cannon 
got into it with Eminem and his close friend 50 Cent over Mariah Carey from back in the day. Uh, Nick Cannon saw this and said, how high be your own people? Feels like when the game came in and took over G-Unit. Damn, homie, in high school you was the man, homie. Yeah, I, I didn't like I didn't like Nick Cannon's response to 50. It was whack. It, it wasn't as good as that damn post he had on Michael Blackson, damn it. And I'll say this, 50. We want you to stop posting and accept T.I.'s battle. That's what we want. Snoop Dogg already got his battle. He going into the versus ring with DMX. So that leaves 50 Cent wide open to take that battle with T.I., damn it. Y'all let me know. Do y'all get offended? Look, it's one thing when, it, when it's real beef. Obviously, the Ja Rules of the world, anytime they do something stupid, 50 Cent is going to clown them. But y'all let me know what y'all think. When when you see 50 Cent take shot at the people that, you know, he don't got real beef with. They just don't get along. Like a Nick Cannon, when Nick Cannon's clearly going through it. I mean, the brother has lost his deal over there at Viacom. Does it offend you to see 50 Cent always jump on his brothers and sisters back? Y'all let me know. He did it to Taraji P. Henson in that Empire show when he was competing against him with power. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment box below. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Again, Nick Cannon announced that he's taking some time away to re-gather uh, his thoughts. I'm out.